Hey guys, my name is Foster and I'm going to be talking to you today about mental health and in particular anxiety and depression. Um, mental health is basically your mental well-being and if you have something like anxiety or depression, those are considered mental health disorders. Um, anxiety is basically when your body goes into fight or flight mode, you know, your blood's pumping real fast, your heart's beating quickly, you're breathing fast, your hands are trembling. Um, sometimes you'll get this feeling before a social event like a dance or a sporting event, or you can get it before a test. And in some cases, um, you'll get it over just random things like going to the doctor's office going out to eat with your friends. Um, things that you wouldn't expect to be anxious for, sometimes you can be anxious for if you have a, a generalized anxiety. And if you're having these feelings, just know that there are ways to help. Um, if you are to go to your doctor or a psychiatrist and tell them, hey, you know, I'm having these bizarre feelings. Um, it's something that they can help you with. Um, there are groups out there for people with anxiety. Um, there are medications that can help. So there are options, you know. The same goes for depression. Now, depression is more than just being sad. It's where you, you know, get real down you know, and you stay there. Um, it can happen over a breakup or you watch a sad movie, something that triggers emotions in your head and you just get down in the dumps and you stay there. Um, you'll find yourself isolating yourself from family and friends. You'll lock yourself in the in your room and in some cases you'll just cry and it's nothing really you can help you just feel awful and know that like with anxiety there are ways for you to get help um, you just need to speak up so tell a trusted adult like a parent or a teacher or a therapist and say hey I'm having these symptoms and I'd like to get some help. And they'll be able to point you in the right direction. Um, now, both of these things, anxiety and depression, can lead to um, suicidal intentions. And it's seen a lot by healthcare workers, people coming to the hospital to the emergency room because they're having feelings um, about killing themselves. And you can get these from extreme anxiety and depression where you feel like you don't have a way out. Um, it could be that um, the love of your life just broke up with you for someone else or you lost a loved one suddenly um, and you feel like nothing in the world's gonna make things better. Just know that there are ways for you to get help. You need to seek them out and you will get the help that you need. Hi guys, my name is Rachel and I'm gonna to talk to you about ways to improve your mental health. First, I wanted to talk about getting an adequate amount of sleep. It's important to get eight to 10 hours of sleep each night. This is going to help with your growth. This is gonna help you focus throughout your day um, and have enough energy. Catch those Z's, they are so important. Also, have a schedule routine. If you know that you have a busy week, then make a schedule. This is gonna make sure you get everything done. Focus on your strengths. What are you good at? What are you not good at? But dial in on those positives and do the things you're good at. Remember that you don't have to be good at everything. 
Surround yourself with people that are positive examples. So leading a positive life can be contagious. Surround yourself with people that make you want to do better and be a good person. Do things that make you happy. Participate in activities that bring you joy. Um, if you like movies, watch movies, music, um, playing instruments, volunteering, things that bring you joy. Engage in physical activity. Exercising releases chemicals in our brain that make us feel better. And sports are a great way um, to release stress. So go to a rec center and play basketball or a track and run or just go outside and walk your dogs. Set goals. Set goals and work towards them. Find out what you want to do and then find out the steps that are going to get you there and then work towards that. Talk to someone. This is so important. If you're feeling stressed, let someone know. It's okay to need help. Believe it or not, um, adults were once your age and they've probably gone through it before. So talk to a friend, talk to a family member, let someone know what you're going through and just remember that you don't have to do it alone. I hope that these ways to improve mental health can be useful to you. Hi, if you think your friend is struggling with mental illness, you can help. Be present, ask, listen, tell them you care, and tell a trusted adult. Here are some things you can do specifically to help. Be present. When someone is struggling with anxiety or depression or some other mental illness, they may often feel alone and may act in ways that push their family and friends away because they don't want to feel embarrassed. They may not want other people to know what's going on with them. Just show up. Let your friend know that you care about them. Invite them to go places with you. Offer to help with everyday tasks. Let them know that they are not alone. Ask. Tell them that you notice something that concerns you. You might say something like, you haven't been at basketball practice lately. Is something going on? What can I do to help? They may be eager to talk, but they may not. Pick a time and place when and where they feel comfortable. Listen. You may or may not understand what your friend is going through, but just listen. You don't have to solve their problems, but talking about the problem is often the first step to finding a solution. Just listen. And don't take it personally if your friend doesn't want to talk right now. It's important to be patient and kind, compassionate, and keep showing up. Tell them that you care. It's important that your friend knows that you see them and that you care. If they aren't ready to talk right now, what? Keep showing up. Be patient. Tell them that they're important to you and you care about them. Say it out loud and be direct. Tell a trusted adult. Now listen, this is important because mental health is so important. It's absolutely as important as physical health. And we need to know when to ask for help. The world is big and full of situations that we've not encountered before and we don't have all the answers or the resources by ourselves. Ask a trusted adult to help your friend. Educate yourself and keep yourself healthy. Exercise, eat healthy food, look for things that are good about today and surround yourself with positive people. Encourage your friend to participate in these healthy activities with you. When you are healthy, you're better able to help others. Remember, be patient. Ask, listen, tell them you care, and tell a trusted adult. Always show up.